Putin's missiles and his helicopters and his rockets. And so, of course, I, I understand and respect. For me, I'm sorry. It's very emotional for me because I see European people with blue eyes and blonde hair being killed. Children being killed every day with Putin's missiles and his helicopters and his rockets. And so, of course, I, I understand and respect. For me, I'm sorry. On est au 21e siècle, on est dans une ville européenne et on a des tirs de missiles de croisière comme si on était en Irak ou en Afghanistan, vous imaginez On est au 21e siècle, on est dans une ville européenne et on a des tirs de missiles de croisière comme si on était en Irak ou en Afghanistan, vous imaginez On est au 21e siècle, on est dans une ville européenne et on a des tirs de missiles de croisière comme si on était en Irak ou en Afghanistan, vous imaginez Now the unthinkable has happened to them. And this is not a developing third world nation. This is Europe. It's Robert Moore here. Now the unthinkable has happened to them. And this is not a developing third world nation. This is Europe. It's Robert Moore here. Now the unthinkable has happened to them. And this is not a developing third world nation. This is Europe. 15,000 people were coming into Poland in just the last 24 hours. When you look at what happened in the last refugee crisis in Europe back in 2013, Poland was one of the EU countries that you know, was hesitant to take in refugees. Talk about what has changed and a different position now. Yeah, well, just to put it bluntly, these are not refugees from Syria. These are refugees from uh, neighboring Ukraine. I mean, that, quite frankly, is part of it. These are um, Christians, they're white, they're, um, they're very similar to people, I many people who live in... Pologne, parce que ça va être une question importante. Et je parle pas, on parle pas là de Syriens qui fuient, qui fuient les bombardements du régime syrien soutenu par Vladimir Poutine. On parle d'Européens qui partent dans leur voiture, qui ressemble à nos voitures, qui prennent la route et qui essayent juste de sauver leur vie, quoi. Et ça, c'est une question qui va être importante pour l'Europe. Et c'est alors que Pologne, parce que ça va être out in bomb shelters. But this isn't a place, with all due respect. Um you know, like Iraq or Afghanistan that has seen conflict raging for decades. You know, this is a relatively civilized, uh, relatively European, I have to choose those words carefully too, uh, city where you wouldn't expect that or hope that it's going to happen out in bomb shelters. But this isn't a place, with all due respect, um, you know, like Iraq or Afghanistan that has seen conflict raging for decades. You know, this is a relatively civilized, uh, relatively European, I have to choose those words carefully too, uh, city where you wouldn't expect that or hope that it's going to happen.